everyone, welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda, and today I am out in my garden. It's very early, and I am out here about to check to see if those leaf-footed bugs are gone or are better in my garden. As I was telling you in my previous video, I had uh, I was going to spray them with some uh, suzy water, so I added some of my uh, BT to that really suzy water, which I used some Dawn dish liquid and some water and some BT. So um, I know BT are not supposed to really do anything to those because they are hard, hard body uh, bugs, but I had already put BT in that container. And so I just went ahead and added some more, couldn't hurt. So let's see if they are gone or if they're better. Okay, so the area that I was seeing them is over here where my tomatoes are in this bed. It's just, this is just one of the places that they were. They were in a lot of different uh, places. So this is one place that they were really uh, frequenting. And let me see, is something flying? Okay, there's one. Uh, as I told you all before, it's hard to tell uh, what they are when they're flying because they, uh, in flight, they resemble uh, wasps. So I just saw one just come and land on this plant. I don't know where he went. But I can say that they are not like they were. Now I don't know if this is a certain time of the day thing that you know they only do late in the evening i don't know but as for right now i am not seeing a lot of them so we'll just uh keep a check on how they are moving about but right now i am not seeing i saw that one he came and flew onto the plant and i don't know where he went I do not see any on, any more on this plant. Okay, so let's try some other plants. Okay, there are none on this plant. And these plants, I mean, they were uh, just demolishing these tomato plants. And I was wondering why my tomato plants were beginning to look so bad. I know, you know, sometimes after they, you know, get old, the plants do start looking bad. But I believe now that it was because of these bugs. Okay, now I am seeing them on this plant, and this plant is beginning to really look really bad, so I think that is what is on the agenda for today, and I'll take you all with me as I begin to rip out some of these plants that are, because see, obviously now they have this plant taken over, and this plant is looking all diseased. So we're just gonna cut it out. And that is what it's seeming like is on the agenda for today is to go ahead and get some of these plants out that are diseased and uh, have been uh, taken over by these pests because if we keep them in the garden, they are only gonna make things worse. So y'all, as hard as it may be for you, Sometimes that's what you have to do. You just have to go ahead and rip out those diseased and pest infested plants. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so these are the tools that I'll be using today. I got my pruners and I have some, uh, I think some big, big pruners. And I'll be using a five gallon bucket to put my uh, weeds in and my plants that are no longer any good. So I'll be putting them in there because uh, you'll need to destroy those plants. Do not put those plants in your compost. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna harvest these cabbages since the bugs have been eating on the leaves of the, on the outside leaves. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna harvest them and make a meal of those 
before they get too badly damaged. I'm just gonna do the green ones. I'm not gonna do the purple ones. Because these outside leaves are damaged, I'm gonna just give them to my chickens, but I will be taking the inside. So that'll make a decent meal. I can just cut that little bit off at the top. Y'all excuse the weed eating going on in the background, but I am going to pick some peas. I've already started on one side, so I'm gonna do this side. for right now okay so one of the plants that's going to have to get removed is this tree this is the bruce plum tree that i told you had uh died and i am going to remove it because it will attract insects to the garden and this is a hosta that has a lot of decay on it i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to cut it down some i'm going to go ahead and pull out the greens and uh kohlrabis and stuff like this that looks bad like this is coming out today Okay, guys, so this is my harvest for today. I have some purple hull peas, some cabbage, three ears of corn, some uh, cherry tomatoes, and one patty pan squash. 
So I hope that you all enjoyed the video. I hope that you would give the video a thumbs up, that you would subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. And as always, thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.